hi how are you hope you are having a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are i'm here and ready to do my flip through of my personal planner i'm so excited to show you and share my beautiful new planner cover and the setup uh, i love it so much it has it's just it's beautiful it's soft it's so smooth it's just it feels so good and squishy and i love the character um, when I unboxed it, I shared that it's got like this texture up here in this corner that fades into this like smoothness and it's just, it's, it's a little personality, you know? Um, but anyway, this is a Moterm Veg Tan cover in the color Midnight. So it's all black. Did not think I would be getting this, but I'm so, so happy I did. I love it so much. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the cover flip through. So the whole planner flip through. The only thing I don't, I love everything at Moe Terms except their back pockets. I could totally do without the back pocket so the planner lays flat, but it is what it is. Um, the pen I'm using is the Pentel Energel Klenna, and it fits fine in here. I got the blue one, of course, because I'm obsessed with blue right now, and I just, I love it, honestly. I don't know why I never got this pen before. Like, I'm in love with it. It just reminds me of summertime and the beach, and I think even the pink one will be really pretty. You want to get that one, too, and kind of switch between the pink and the blue. I just put the clip part in the elastic. It's a lot easier to go in and out in the elastic side of the pen holder. This keychain is from Michael's, the Arts and Crafts store. It's just like this little Game Boy. Um, I thought it was super cute, so it's in there. Nothing in a whole lot of my pockets, actually. Uh, I have some basic icons from Paper You Planning. The school and the birthday cake. I have Doctors 1's 2 down there. So I use those in my calendars, my monthly calendars. I don't remember where I got this sticker from. Um, and then I have this magnet from Twines and Paper, uh, but it's not, I don't have the backing on it. I just have it stuck to my cloth and paper grippy thing because it stays a lot better. It's a lot stronger on this. Or actually, I think, yeah, this is cloth and paper. Um, yeah. But it, it stays better on this than it did with the backing. Uh, this is a freebie. I think it's from Paper Planner Bliss. Um, no, no, no. Sneshka Plans? I'm not sure. I'll have it in the description, but it's a freebie. It came with a bunch of other um, little freebie cards, and I just laminated it and stuck it in here. There's nothing in that pocket. In here is like the same things I usually have. I have this, which I always forget to fill out, and then my planner sizes is from Crystal Plans. That's from my minimal planner, and then uh, my little drop stickers from Sweet Crest Designs. So pretty. So the cover is the same as it was before. I, I can't get rid of it. I just love looking at it. It looks really pretty here too. This is from Twines and Paper also, I believe. This is just like an old divider that I cut the tab off of. And then I stuck this secretarial pocket on here. Um, I think I got this from Lauren Phelps Designs. And then this is a freebie from EO Edits that is from Cloth and Paper. Um, this inbox, like just little dashboard thing, is uh, one of my freebies, so you can find that in the description. Um, I only have it in personal and pocket size, but if you would like it another size, just leave a comment, message me, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. I just don't have other sizes to test it on. This also is one of my freebies. It came with like this also, and I printed it out weird, so the lines came out kind of funky. But if the lines weren't there, it'd be really beautiful. <laughs> but um, it, I have a couple other designs also on there. But yeah, those are my freebies. Um, on my inbox tab, it, that's a freebie from EO Edits. And then I just stuck some sticky notes on here. And I have events coming up from like things around the county that I can take my kids to. Um, just to keep track of summer events. This is a freebie from Curated Monotony. And she just has it in one large size, and you can size it down if you like. And I just sized it down this little card size in there. Uh, for here, I have this June um, card thing, which is actually, um, I have it right here too. Just, you can see the blank without the crosses. I mean, 
you can see what it is. It's from Wise Coffee Break. It's just a personal size dashboard or, or insert that I cut in half um, because I didn't need the whole month. I just wanted one June in here to cross off the days. So I have that in there. This little June deco. It's all Planner Monkey Co. It's like her month stickers. And this is a washi tape roll. Uh, that's flower is just something I printed off Canva. My inbox sheet is from Plan With B, and I was just crossing them off at first, but I, that was like messing with my eyes kind of, and I wasn't sure if I like completed it or if I just crossed it off because I didn't need to do that anymore. Um, so I just started highlighting it. It's a lot easier to see like everything that I haven't done yet. Um, so I think highlighting is the way to go. This highlighter is the Zebra Mild Liner. It is this one. It's one of the newer ones I just got. Um, I think you can get it by itself. And it's like a cool gray color. I got it in a pack. With a bunch of other ones. Um, yeah. So that's the inbox. And then I have this inbox also. Where I'm tra keeping track of uh, videos that I want to post. And this is on a Sweet Crest Designs sticky note. Which is a freebie. That is from... Um, Sweet Freckle Designs. It's one of her older uh, sticky notes, which I don't think she's selling anymore. I think she finally got rid of all of those. And these are just like on my old Rose and Mist uh, inbox sheet. This is from the Love Lux plan. It's a freebie. And then I have this little clear folder, which came in my Filofax banner. And I just stuck some little stickers and a card on there. This might be Luna Luz plans. I'm not sure. Um, and then some stickers here that I use in my monthlies, my calendar section, the dividers, um, are clear acetate, um, it's like Cricut acetate that I designed and cut myself, uh, on my Cricut machine. So they're just like etched, engraved in there or etched in there. I don't know. Uh, but I think they're really cool. <laughs> they came out nice and I don't remember how I made them. So I don't know. I'll figure it out if I do. Uh, I said I was going to make a video before and then it's been so long that I forgot how I did it. So I don't know. I'll try and figure it out. Mess with it. Um, my This calendar is a... It's just twice in paper. Kubo and Lucy has a few freebies that have also the diptych style thing on it. But this one is from Twins and Paper. And this one came in a bundle with all the section covers. Uh, this is a freebie from Analog Alicia. And it is just a 2024 overview with my Sweet Crush Designs stickers marked off. This is a freebie from Planning Professor, um, Living My Okayest Life. I, I, lust, I just, I love that. And then my future log is from Perfective Paper. And I just dot the days with one of my dot markers and then write them down as they come up, which helps me fill out my actual monthly sheet, which is what I look to more than this. Um, these next two are also freebies and they're from EO Edits. Um, and I just love how they look layered together. So I keep those together and then we go into my monthly, like giant monthly calendar. This is a freebie from Luna Loose Plans. Um, I took out all the previous months. So that is June that we're in right now. This is from an old Franklin Covey planner and I have a sticker from my middle planner in here. So that's just to mark off that this is this month. So you can see I use my paper planning stickers, icon stickers in here to mark off the days. And then I have all the days written down here. Um, and I do monthly um, setups so you can watch those videos. And then this is, I think, just the end here, December. And then I have this dashboard. This is a freebie from Color Cafe. And that's a freebie from Moon Loose Plans. Going to my list section, which I previously... Okay, sorry. The dog knocked down a bunch of stuff. But um, previously, my list section was like all the way towards the back. And I just wasn't looking at them that much. But now I'm here and I actually like go into the section a lot more. And it makes sense that it's like kind of with my inbox and calendar section. That it's just all kind of together. I don't know. It just makes more sense this way. This is um, from Twines and Paper. Coffee, coffee, coffee. This is a freebie from Demi Rose Plans. And that is a 
also another freebie from Jimmy Rose Plans. Um, I made this myself on Canva, printed it out on acetate. Um, this trigger list is from Soli Paper. And that is the back of that. And I printed this one out on like really thick cardstock paper, and I think it's really nice. Uh, but I have another trigger list here, and this one is a freebie from Crystal Plans. And then I have my um, Add to Planner list, which is technically an inbox sheet from um, DOA Inspiring Designs, but you can edit it. So I took off the inbox, and then oh, I, I didn't add a title at all. Up here is where it said inbox. So I took that off. I put Add to Planner in the middle, so the description, like this is the right, what I want to add to the planner. And then what section it needs to go into. So I have lists, personal, family, home, and sticky note. That way I can print out new sticky notes if I need to, you know, put stuff in my list section, personal, home, whatever. And then I will check it off if I printed it. And this is important because sometimes I print stuff out and then I just like leave it in like a pile of stuff. And I forget that I printed it out. So if, if I check it off, I know I printed it. And then I will highlight it when it is added into the planner. So that is what I plan on doing with this. And honestly, I think it's a great system for me. This is going to work out really well. Um, so I'm excited to actually start getting into it. I literally just added this. I was like, oh, this idea. Um, and then this is my reminder sheet. So I'm, I was looking everywhere for my reminder sticky notes, but I couldn't find them. So I just printed this out. This is from Latua Notes. And... and so this is what I'm just putting things that I need to, re to, re to remind myself technically, you know, it's a reminder. <laughs> so like right now I have that fact that I have one of my mom's black cooler bags so that when I go through this, um, I can remember that I need to bring it back to her the next time I go visit her. This is a freebie from Grow Gently and it is the April one. She puts out one every month and they're all gorgeous. I have a couple of them in here. I love them. So this next section, so the next section is my contacts. Um, I'll share my dashboards right here. This is a freebie from Dream Seeds. Well, it was. I don't know if she still has them up, but um, it's gorgeous. I am. I love this one. And I just put this Happy Planner sticker over this little dot page from Filofax. And that's just kind of so I can hide my contacts. I know that's what that is. And then um, I have this little cloth and paper sticky note with one of my phone icon stickers on there to mark that off. I have a lot of random tabs everywhere. Like this one marked off the overview month. <laughs> Nothing. It's just, I, I, I know what everything is. So even if it doesn't look beautiful, if they're just like little page flags sticking out, like I don't mind it. I know exactly what's happening in my planner. Uh, this organizer is from Latua Notes and this just marks off things I can have at fast food stops. Um, um, things that I can have, and they're like gluten-free foods. Well, technically, I, wrote, I even wrote the notes that like McDonald's and Burger King is questionable because it could be cross-contaminated. But if I absolutely feel like I'm starving, I can eat the French fries and tater tots. Same thing with Taco Bell. Um, I was getting their crunchy tacos, but then my husband bought uh, packets of like. He bought packets of Taco Bell seasoning and they had wheat in it. So I was like, well, now I'm questioning all of Taco Bell. So I haven't had any since then. Um, and then Chick-fil-A. I know I can have their grilled nuggets and their waffle fries because they cook their fries in a different oil than they cook their um, fried chicken. So I know they will never be cross-contaminated. So I love Chick-fil-A. A little expensive. So I don't, we don't always get it. I don't eat fast food a bunch. I just wait till I get home. Um, my kids will just get McDonald's if we're ever out and about. Um, it's a hard life. This is my bucket list and it is from Perfective Paper and it is like supposed to be like um, two sheets and I guess you get a cover and a back. I don't know but that's just like takes up too much space and I can just print it front and back and I'm okay with that um, especially because I don't really have a whole lot of stuff on my bucket list anyway. Um, this is a freebie that I made and it is also on 
um, my folder, freebies folder. I'm not sure if I only made personal size in this or if I also have in pocket, but um, yeah, if you want another size, let me know again. I love that one. This back too is also something I just made. It's also my freebies. Um, this task reminders trigger list is from Playing With B. I love look, looking through triggers lists, so I know I have a couple in here. Leave me be. <laughs> On the back, I had the backing of that plan with be like a um, little decorative flower, but I wasn't feeling it, so I just made my own dashboard where I put this uh, cloth and paper journaling card on here. It's actually kind of like worn out. It's like faded into a different color. This washi tape is from Planner Monkey Co. This is like my favorite one. I love that one. This is from, um, I think it's Lion's Heart Creations. No, 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 it's not. That, that is Lauren Phelps Design. That's her journalish collection. So that's Lauren Phelps Design, and that's Planner Monkey Co. Also, my order tracker is from Wise Coffee Break. I love Wise Coffee Break inserts. I, I just, I've been loving them. There's a lot of different ones in here. Um, this simple order tracker replaced my Sesame order tracker that I've been using for like years. So, <laughs> you know, I like it when I. I change things up. Um, yeah, so that's my just keep struck of orders, obviously. Um, my treat your, myself, treat yourself insert is from my middle planner, and it's basically like my personal wish list. Um, and then I have things to buy. It's just like stuff around the house that we need. It's not really like a shopping list. It's just things that we would need around the house. And that's also my middle planner, my to-do list. And that's also just things I need to do around the house that isn't like vital, but I should probably do it. <laughs> so these are on my Filofax like to do checklists. Um, and then my gift ideas, this is from Latour Notes and it's part of the like autumn winter bundle. Um, I just have like all of my family and some close friends and um, just put gift ideas like if they, I find out they like something, you know, if they've ever said they wanted something, I will write it down that way on birthdays and Christmases. I already have an idea of what to get them instead of just keeping my head. Normally I would have done that and I always forget. <laughs> uh, but this way I know I can do that and then I cross it off if I get, get it for them. Um, this is a word of the day, week, month, year from Emma Planner. It's a freebie and I mark off a word a month. And what I do is I sort of close my eyes and I open them and the first word that I see is like the word of the month and then I write it down here. So these are my words so far for this year. Reset, love, supportive, live, magical, and begin. Great words. I already have a um, another wise coffee break insert. This is just lined and I think these are freebies. Um, but I put like my sweet crush designs color palette on here because it always looks different on paper than it does on the sticker sheet. And it also looks different here than it does, obviously, in my cream colored Hobonichi paper. So I like to keep a color palette everywhere. And just to make it easy, I just took the whole sheet off of the sticker sheet and pasted it on here. Okay, so those are just blank notes pages. This is also from Dream Seeds, the 12 core values and 40 daily intentions. And I love looking at this also. It's really pretty. I love all of the like botanical prints. That's just um, one of the back sides to it, or like one of the design papers she has. Um, this is a reading list. It's a freebie from Watch Becca Plan. And I haven't printed out any pictures, but um, I liked how this is set up. Another freebie from Grow Gently. This is also is beautiful. I love the colors of it. Um, this is another Wise Coffee Break insert where I keep track of the games that I am currently playing. So I have a couple of those. And I just started playing two new games last night, so I need to add those as well. Um, this is a freebie that I made, so you can find that in my freebies folder. This Aries thing is from Twine and Paper. And I have that over my all the birthday freebies sheet from my middle planner. So in here I'm going to write down, I haven't done it yet, um, all of the um, things that, you know, what stores or what shops you can get a free something on your birthday. So that's neat. So far, the only thing I can think of right now is my Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> iced coffee I can get for free. Um, but 
other things will come to mind. I'll just have to like scan my shops and stuff. This is just a line note paper from Wild of Wax. Um, this is another freebie from my middle planner and it's just like ideas for journaling. And then we go into my personal section. So these cover sheets are from planner or paper test designs and hey planner girl. And none of my sections are right anymore, but I didn't feel like pretty new ones out, especially separate on acetate paper. And I'm all out of acetate paper. Hi. Um, this is Latua Notes. Hi. This is EO Edits. Hi. Um, and this is Little Loose Plans. Hi. This is just a sticky note I made, Hi. and it's not my routine anymore. But I've just had that. So it's close enough. I've had it there forever. So this is a freebie from Demi Rose Plans, and then this is a freebie that I made, and it's all my freebies folder also. Um, here I just wrote down my affirmations um, that I like to look at. It's Latua Notes, which is also part of the Autumn Winter Bundle. It has this little floral print here. You can see the blank here. This is from my middle planner, and this goes into my self-care section. And this little sunflower or daisy uh, sticker, I don't know if you can see it very well. Probably better without my hand. I don't know. There you go. Uh, that is from Clark and Cord. She has like a little sticker sheet full of those. Uh, I have skincare notes here in my Wise Coffee Break inserts. Um, and then I have the this sticky note that has like my actual AM, PM skincare just written down. And if it changes, I have plenty more because this is from the Paper Test Designs All those Essentials Bundles where it comes with a bunch of blank inserts and sticky notes and you just design your own so i put skincare up here and pm um those weren't there it was all blank and then this is like stuff that i actually use like products um the brands this uh skincare insert is one that i made and it's a freebie um it's, let's see, it's the blank no i don't have a blank one um i'm just gonna put one out every month so this is like week of June um, and I just have to set it every week but I thought that was better than get it printing out new um, sticky notes all the time because I couldn't find one sticky note insert that had um, Sweetcrest Designs I don't, I don't know if I have it around anymore but I was using one from Sweetcrest Designs but she doesn't have them in like the single design it's like you have to print out all six sticky note designs just to get that one that you want. And I was just, I can't do that. So that's what inspired me to make this sheet. Um, so this is what that is. And honestly, I guess you can use it for anything else if you want to as well. But um, I have my AM, my PM marked off and then all the days of the week. And I've left that blank um, in case you want to start Sunday or Monday. This is just another like lined freebie that no. I have. No. This is Let You in Notes. And this is my old go-to products. Um, I have makeup and skincare here. So a lot of this has changed, but a lot of it stay the same. So I just sort of left it in here. And I just like how it looks. Like I think this looks really pretty. This is these uh, drop stickers are from Sweetcrest Designs. And I just used that to mark off, you know, sections of my makeup. <laughs> same thing with skincare. And I just thought it looked really nice. This is a freebie from EO Edits. And then my note board is Latua Notes, and I use this to just jot down my weight. Um, cloth and paper, sticky note, and then another Grow Gently freebie dashboard, and that is the back of that one. Um, this mother is a freebie for March plans, and that goes along with my um, password keeper, and that is from DOAA Inspiring Designs. And I have this tab here to mark that off in case I need to flip to that right away. This trackers board is twines and paper. This is a freebie from Luna Lose Plans. And this is um, DOA Inspiring Design slash Planning with Allo collab. And it is in the like self care uh, bundle. But I just printed out this sheet to keep um, for looking at moods and stuff. My period tracker is from Perfective Paper, and oh, that's the same insert that I had on the um, not vinyl. What is it? The uh, vellum. 
I forgot that I have it back here also. But I can't change that because it's part of my period tracker. So I have double of those. That's okay. My sleep trackers are from the OAA Inspiring Designs also. And I just love how simple it is. You just, I just highlight, you know, the time that I went to bed, the time that I wake up, and write down the total in hours I slept. Um, I was, I used my, um, Zebra Mod Liner and Olive to highlight those. The next couple of trackers are from Wise Coffee Break. And this is my reading long. And I just scratch off when I read. My no spend that I have not <laughs> filled out. And my, um, when I close all my rings on my Apple Watch. That's, this one's actually DOA Inspiring Design. And it's a yearly tracker from that. So that's not the same. But almost similar. Uh, this is a freebie from my middle planner. And then... This is a Catspresso Co. Pocket, and I have uh, this sticker from, or I think it's just a die cut, from um, Planner Monkey Co. This is from Cloth and Paper that I got from my Bomb Kuhn order. I had a, like, a card that said Plan on here, and that's from Planner Press. I just stuck my Mummy sticker on here of Evelyn and Rick. I had to add them in here. Um, personal information, um, and then my health log, just little health notes to keep track of when I have like certain symptoms and stuff. I got this from a local, sh uh, stationery shop. Uh, it does say three potato four, so I think that's who made that. This, um, health log is from the Paper Test Design Save Planner Girl, like, home management bundle. I have little, um, art from my kids. This is um, from Ivy Mill Ink, and that's also a freebie. And this is a Demi Rose Plans freebie. And then this paper just designs grid, just a plain note paper, which is also a freebie. Latu notes sticky notes, and then Latu notes grid paper. Another note board. I really like these ones also. So this one I'm marking notes off from my nutrition education class I am working on, and then. I have this freebie from Ash Plans. That's also the back of that. And then we move on to my family section. So in my family section, I have this cover from Pine and Paper. This is Dream Seeds. And that's beautiful. It's, that was a freebie also. This is a freebie from Love Lux Plan. And I think I have some... No, that's just covering... Um, Oh, because I wanted to add this. I wanted to keep this dashboard with this, but then I didn't want the note paper grid behind it since this is a vellum. So I just stuck a plain blank sheet from Filofax there. And then I have this here, which I am going to write our library books on that we check out so I can keep track of the library books because we usually just have them all over the house. This is from Wise Coffee Break, and this just marks off... Um, symptoms of the kids so i have like h from uh, my oldest and k for my middle child and i have um headache stomach ache nauseous toothache nosebleed um and then for my other son he doesn't get nosebleeds often so headache stomach ache nauseous and toothache just to mark down like the basic you know um symptoms that people get um my my oldest is like me i used to when i was a kid have nosebleeds all the time Thank God that doesn't happen anymore because I would wake up, you know, with blood all over me and my pillow and it was just awful. Don't know what causes it, but I'm glad I'm, I'm done with it. I feel bad for my son who has to deal with it. But, um, yeah, so that's why it's coffee break. Then it's family info from Paper Test Designs bundle. Insurance information is that same bundle. This memo sheet is from Latua Notes and I just have no family notes on there. Again, another Latua Notes board. Doctor's information is from the Paper Test Design Bundle. Uh, blank paper for more notes. And those are Filofax. And then this is from Twines and Paper. I love that one. I made this um, myself on Canva for my kids. They're Firewater Air Signs. They're uh, Zodiac. And then the year they were born. And I thought that was just really cute to have in here. And then I also just made that also just to go with it. I have their own password sheet with a sticker, like transfer sticker from, um, I think that's the one of the, the Pion girls. I don't know. 
this is a freebie from my manual planner and I thought the colors, the brushed letters look so cute. So that in the kids section, another notes board and this one from Wise Coffee Break, I'm using to write out their school schedules. So like when the school, you know, has early dismissals, late starts, whatnot, holidays. Um, I can see all that right here. And then these I can take out since the school year is over, but those were like big moments in the school year. And then I wrote them down and just marked it off when it happened. Like uh, my son's, you know, fall picture day, book fairs, concerts, um, play, and then field day. So just big school events. And then this is a freebie from Posh Puppetry. And um, uh, this is actually, I think, for 2023. And it's, they were just designs. It's part of like the yearly bundle thing, but honestly, the only date part of it was where it marked off the year. So I just scratched that off and I wrote down like big highlights from the kids on here. Uh, this sticky note just marks off the, the highlight that I plan on using for the kids schools thing that I'll show you guys in a second. Um, it's printed on a sterling ink design sticky note. This and this is where freebies from Dream what? Seeds. I found, I found. Um, my dividers that have my kids' names on it were made by Gracie Edits. And I love them. They're so pretty. So I just made the dashboards myself that have like their, the first letter of their name. Um, and then here we go with the school tracker. So I use these yearly trackers from DOAA. Or fold out and I highlight when they miss school, when they missed the bus and went late, or if I pick them up early. Um, and then the back is a design paper from Plan with B. All right, sorry, the next two had like personal information on it, but this is a medication log just for him, doctor's visits just for him, which I'll put one tomorrow or next week because he's going to the doctor next week. His own wish list, and then I put this like blue sheet in for him from my Farlofax planner. Just for notes. Okay, and then we go into my second sign. And this is the same. I think this is. I, I don't know, it might be Latua notes, but I think it's Twines and Paper. I'm not 100% sure, but his same thing, yearly tracker where he marks off dates where he misses school and stuff. And then his info, all the same wish list, and that's Penis Planner Co. And I used the green paper for him. And then my daughter section, uh, her medication log, and her doctor's visits, wish list. Her wish list is from Rose and Mist. And she scribbled on most of her section, <laughs> little notes here. And I gave her the pink paper from Philofax. And this is the end where I just have this dashboard and that's a freebie from Dream Seeds. This well as the back and then I have my page flipper where I just stuck a bunch of random sticky notes and leftover uh, vellum paper. That is a card from Twines and Paper. And then this is from Planner Rubble Co. My back pocket doesn't have anything in it except for this bookmark but I like keeping it in here because of the little ribbon up top. Um, this is from Crafty Brina. I love getting my great bookmarks from her. Uh, this has a little B on it. It says Be Kind. And I absolutely love that. And especially because it's like dark. I love that. It's really pretty. But I love that ribbon sticking out right there. I have this. Plan, do, repeat. And consistency is more important than perfection. These also were on the same sheet as that coffee one. And I just landed in those. Stuck those in here. And that is just like one of the Traveler's Notebooks um, wrap paper things that I just folded up and stuck in here. Did I have this in the bottom? Yeah. And that is it. There is absolutely nothing in the back pocket. Uh, and also, I think I mentioned one of my playing with me is that when I did the unboxing, I didn't realize there was some like white stuff on the edges of some of my things. I didn't know if that was like mold or if that was just some sort of weird powdery residue or what. But I just took a little bit of um, mold and mildew spray, put it on a, um, a little sponge. And I just kind of like dabbled it around the spots where it was. And it got rid of it. And it didn't mess up any of the leather. So hopefully that solved the 
problem if that was what was happening but um i'm i don't see any marks or any other weird things going on now i really didn't want to take it back and get a refund or exchange it or anything because i really 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 love this cover like i just i immediately fell in love and i love the little i love everything about the little t characteristics and stuff so i wanted to keep it so I, I tried that and it worked but um yeah that's my personal planner full setup flip through and i hope you enjoyed maybe got some inspo if you liked the, any of my freebies then they are in the description in a flight freebies folder and uh yeah if you want other sizes let me know you can be the tester for them <laughs> and that's all i have so i will see you in my next video bye